Hello my beautiful soul tribe, soul family, welcome back to another reading. Interesting one today, the message here that we have is there's going to be a very unexpected transformation occur, almost as if it's just going to appear, almost as if this transformation is going to be in the appearance of something, some new news, some new clarity, some new revelation, a new uh, opportunity moving in or a new person but the thing is is it carries the energy of death which is ending to begin and I know this because this little skull got put outside my door and I don't know who put it there but I'm taking it as a synchronicity <laughs> nothing is a coincidence so look, yeah, this unexpected death, this unexpected transformation, skeletons are going to be coming out of the closet. And that's in two ways, because this could be involving situations, people uh, telling you information, confessing new information, uh, coming out to light uh, from the cupboards but from the skeletons in the closet this could be you like healing through having a conversation with a friend that is about something that you have deeply buried this could be about having a conversation and reflection with yourself about the skeletons back in the closet that are dancing their way forward this can also be about yeah things coming to light so things that have been hidden ha are going to be becoming clear this can also be in the universal way of the universe bringing things to light for you in a way that there's been things energetically culminating in the background your manifestations that have seemed so quiet quiet is before the storm maybe some areas you feel like you feel a bit stuck or maybe you feel like they're just moving but not really or maybe you feel like you haven't seen so much progress on them but it's because we've been in this uh, hanged man phase of gaining new perspectives through resting through reflecting through having this weird energy of alchemization 212 I just saw going on internally where it's like we're not really doing much it's more that we are flowing with the realizations the the changes of feelings and, and where they're leading us in our brain and they're leading us to a certain point and as we get to this certain point of realization something is going to appear to you be it an opportunity be it like I said, a person, a thing, uh, information, you know, news, a letter, and it seems like it's going to come after you have this realization, or that's what's triggering this realization. So we're going to pull a few tarot cards to see what is going on. We've got Queen of Pentacles. This could heavily involve uh, home, family, your structure, foundation, but also your work and business. This can be inspiration um, and ideas on that. But also I get that this is a, an energy of coming back into self-empowerment as well. Like whatever information this is, it's kind of one that makes you feel in a certain aligned track again. Like this could be a death and rebirth to an internal plan that you have maybe business wise or work wise or where you envision your path forward could be changing yes yeah, so we've got six of cups so for sure for sure this could be um an ending beginning a transformation a deepening a leveling up to a specific connection in your life that is a very compassionate it's like a soul bond type of energy or a soul family this can be a friend this can be um yeah this could be a friend who you're going to connect with deeply this is double-edged though because this is two energies i'm picking up on with this card this is about you reminiscing on the past either past places past nostalgia maybe happy memories maybe happy memories for some of you that are you know reminiscing on something that you've moved away from now or that it's just like times move past and you're thinking about old things if it's not that um, yeah, no, I'm picking up two energies. It could be like a bit of sweet type of thing of reminiscing on all the memories, beautiful memories you've made up until this point, you know, and then refinding that feeling in a new place. Now, for example, 
this is not like this is pu purely an example because this energy can span in so many different areas imagine you make so many memories at a house and you've lived there your whole life and then you're closing the door but in a very like reminiscent but happy way because you're moving into a new house right like it's that type of transformation leaving the old and stepping into the new but in a place that feels really at home to your soul no matter what that is it doesn't have to be a home it can be a person it can be um you reminiscing to get inspiration wow bottom deck energy is ace of cups no for sure definitely for some of you this is a connection um you could have been reminiscing on, you know, some painful endings that you've had to do recently, or maybe there's been some, you know, not nice loss that you've been enduring, or uh, maybe you've been doing a lot of shadow work, and then all of a sudden, like, new connections, new life, new love is coming in, and that doesn't have to just be romantically, this can be friendship-wise, this can be your inner cup refilled by the clarity that you have moving forward, but I get a strong sense of inspiration coming in for you guys, definitely. It's almost as if for some of you, you're reminiscing back on old memories, like happy times or uh, of self. Like, oh, I remember when I was in that phase of my life and I was doing this and then this and then this. And it's kind of like, a ah, oh. and then, you know, you kind of, you're entering a point where you feel like that again. It's very zoomed out. You're entering a place where you're going to be feeling very nostalgic in a sense that it's like, wow, life life is bitter life is sweet but the sweet is really sweet and every time you taste it it tastes better and it's better it's not better it's just different it's a new version of sweet if this is a person this is like you've let go and then you're tasting a new version of love but in a new form you know a friendship loss and then gain a job loss then gain like home moves with us and energy jumps through people so yeah, a lot of a lot of heartwarming energy is coming out of a darker time, you know? That could have been in the past few months, that could have been whenever that was, because when it comes to the death card transformation, it really is not a linear journey at all. So um, you know, depending on what timeline you are, depending on what's going on. You've all been dealing through a period of time with this energy of death and rebirthing. And you guys are rebirthing and you're going to start seeing some beautiful blessings come in. Okay, so we do have the devil card come out with the five of wands, which is this kind of panic energy of feeling in control. And it's feeling in control by time. Um, or it's feeling in control by kind of like this busyness. Maybe it can feel overwhelming at times or like you're... You, you have to be in a rush to do a certain thing, you know, I have to be in a rush to make this action or take this opportunity or to start doing something or, or you know, it's like worrying that it's all going to be gone. But you guys are in perfect aligned divine timing. The devil is also showing how you have been overcoming um, things that make you feel like you don't hold the power you don't have the control things that you rely on right and not only that but it's been very conflicting because it's like which way do we go about it which one do we choose like there's so many different ways to go about a situation and and all of those ways sometimes can be talked out to being you know sometimes we can just feel like things are not in our power things are not in our control and it can feel almost defeating and it just feels like you don't need anybody to save you. But you guys are having connections, move in, information, news or someone that is going to support you in making a certain type of decision, I feel. Or to moving further forward into this energy of Six of Cups. 
because you know with death comes rebirth but after the rebirth that's when things grow and in the growth that's when these beautiful things and blessings are going to move into your journey not straight away after the death you know no matter what that point was in your journey that transformation that letting go and and shift into a new chapter no matter no matter when that was for you energy transforms but if you're uprooting a, what's turned into a weed and replanting a new seed that new seed is you know it's going to fill in the dark for a while until it blooms into its flower and you guys are in this uh, process of stepping through that journey growing those flowers you know this is like a weighing up as well i do feel like there's this energy of kind of unsureness on how to go about a situation or maybe you feel like a situation you don't know how to act because you feel like some things aren't in your control or it just it feels like it's taking your power in a way that it's like mentally challenging to overcome because you're having to weigh up all these different sides or there's just like uh maybe a conflict internally between you maybe this is for some of you the thing that you're letting go of maybe you are thinking about that maybe death you know the transformation card has been on your mind in a way that you're in between do i do i not do, do this this could be a certain job change this could be making it a certain decision this could be that you know two of pentacles as well is like we're kind of juggling things we're juggling the idea of or we're it can feel conflicting with the devil because it's like one minute we feel this way the next minute we feel this way it's like what do we even want you know what i mean it's like five of wands type of energy how do we go about something this could be love related this could be career related this could be um you know future related just dream world related you'll know how that resonates for you and then the chariot reversed yeah so it feels like maybe you can't move forward because or spirit's saying don't worry you're not moving forward until you feel like uh you're happy and content in what you what you know is going to make you happy and we're never going to know what what we want but we know what we don't want and we have to just keep moving on through life away from the things that we do not we know that we don't want we know that we don't they don't fulfill us in certain types of ways you know it just feels like you guys are taking like progressive leaps forward but it's almost as if you're still deciding about something it's like you intuitively know something or you're listening you're trying to figure something out with your intuition trying to really think deeply about a situation what's the best way forward to go this could be something about a move a traveling a going on a trip on a journey this can be about a relationship right this could be about hmm this could be about you weighing up everything you've experienced in the past to kind of decide, right, where do I want to go next that's going to make me happy because I've experienced all these things that, um, you know, have shaped the way my future looks in a new form, into a new dream. Uh, but with the High Priestess here, you're very, very, very in tune. And maybe you feel like something's not moving forward because it's just not the right time yet. And you, you know, you trust in divine timing. You're just alchemizing energy right now, gathering energy. You're kind of putting things into perspective in your brain mentally of what you would want things to look like. Yeah, 1010, what your ultimate happiness would look like. We've got 10 of pentacles and we've also got 10 of cups. Ultimate happiness, your vision of true internal peace and bliss. And 10 of pentacles is like that stability of foundation, that stability that can carry through generations, that legacy that you are creating. Your future legacy of internal deep bliss and peace is what we have been learning and finding out. And maybe there's still a few decisions we need to make about it, but that's okay because like I said we don't need to know what we want we just need to know what we don't want and sometimes we don't even know what we don't want because one minute we want it and one part of us doesn't want it and that is okay too you guys yeah it's just this energy of ten of swords came out reverse which is about endings it's about mental relief moving on and you know kind of cutting mental cords to things it does feel like there's this kind of push and pull, back and forth type of energy about something. Um, uh, 
Yeah, four of wands. So this push and pull energy back and forth about something it could be about going somewhere. It could be about, yeah, it could be about going somewhere. Maybe you guys don't trust someone. This is like one or two people watching. It's like this energy of you really thinking very deeply because you're not sure uh, if you really trust someone who's maybe wanting to start a foundation with you, you know, or maybe there's someone that you are building a foundation with, you know, a home, a relationship, something of that kind. And you're kind of like, I'm not really sure about them. So you're using your intuition to scope out, you know, the kind of thing, the kind of vibe, but then maybe you're like, I don't want to wait too long. But then universe is saying, don't feel pressure, just follow your intuition and know that you're supported. This is all about creating a stable foundation. This, this is about a your home it could be as well yeah major change what major change what change is this towards what have you been weighing up seems like your foundations yeah your structure your passion your what you're building your life of and what you want that to look like uh in a sense though of what is going to be sustainable for you what do you feel like is going to be sustainable for your future happiness and, and we don't always have to live for the future but it's almost as if you're sh you're shifting and changing in kind of the way of how you're seeing what you want maybe maybe you're getting new inspiration new dreams or maybe you're realizing you don't want certain things you wanted before and this is like you having the creativity to just plan out whatever you want that future to look like for yourself because the four of one is a card of stability that is coming after a time where you have had to be tested mentally and physically to persevere through with the strength reverse some of you are in between because a part of you feels like yeah you want this expansion or you want this new foundation but maybe you know you're still you know you're still planning you're still alchemizing still putting that dream world together in some way and this isn't about your whole life this could be about it literally a specific area for some of you it's work for some of you it's a relationship you know but in these pinpointed areas you know in, in general you know we always have things we feel great about and always have things that we don't and it seems like universe is putting pressure in some places uh to help us move forward and let go of maybe things that we've come to realize that are you know carcasses of what they once were is what I just heard I don't know if that's dramatic or not but it seems like some of us are really back and forth and and the back and forth really comes from you know are we capable to do this or would that be possible you know spirit saying if you've been debating something it's like whatever you're gonna build you're creating a legacy okay you are literally the magician whatever you want to build you're creating a legacy and yeah at points it feels like we lack the strength to really carry all of that weight how is that even going to be possible to take the steps forward to create that dream or to, to move towards that goal and create that stability um of structure for ourselves and they're saying it's going to happen because with the high priestess here you are a co-creator with the universe know it or not you follow your intuition and um yeah this kind of push and pull between things so maybe some of you have been wanting to make a decision about maybe moving house or maybe you know uh putting something out there into the world uh i'm seeing something about gifts here as well or an invitation that you might receive to go out maybe you're like oh i'm not sure if i want to or there's a lot of ambiguous energy coming through, but not in a bad way at all, you guys. It's just like a lot of options are becoming open to you. And it's like a lot to think about all at once. I feel like with this Knight of Swords reversed, it's supposed to be a very quick moving energy. You know, thoughts kind of acted on based on logic. But I feel like some of our logical thoughts are clashing in a sense. And why? What are they clashing towards, though? the page of pentacles this is about making a solid plan this is about yeah a new beginning of some kind maybe you feel like you need to scope it out first like say you're moving house but it's like but i need to get to know the area first or say you're uh wanting to start a social platform but then you're like oh but will it be 
very successful you know will it be liked or not and this is all a journey as well internally um of putting that validation in ourselves i feel like regardless with a lot of the lessons uh that have been dished out recently is learning that real beautiful self-validation and knowing that you deserve and it is literally in the cards here that you have an abundance of bliss family love and also ten of pentacles material stability fun time to let go time to let go and be free but also time to do the things that you love and that are helping you and those around you and what you want to pursue to be and yeah kind of putting that plan together this page of wands is again you guys you're like i don't know something about status here status or um you're gonna have a lot of people kind of wanting your attention or wanting your time or something like that it, maybe you are starting something new maybe you already have something and whatever you have got already or you, that you've been growing or working towards is going to become very 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 stable to the point where it's like people are sending you recognition people are sending you rewards um and then for others of you, if that's not the case, if you're at a place in life where, you know, you're going at your job, um, I feel like this energy is going to come over you of curiosity and spontaneity to maybe seek for new opportunities, seek for new inspiration, seek for new passions that light your soul up with the three of pentacles. This could also be people are going to start to want to really collaborate with you, um, whether that's like at work maybe you know you get put into like oh no like a training role where you get recognition for like all that you know and how good of a job you're doing or if this is like you're independent and people are going to want to collaborate with you or your clientele or your audience is going to increase that type of vibe the empress yeah okay so it's actually you protecting what you have the beautiful garden that you have grown of balance the empress is this energy of divine abundance in a way that you're attracting not only that but your energy is becoming very magnetic so you're not just attracting business opportunities and this is the thing this is the thing you guys is that when your energy is shifting like this and becoming so magnetic um because it really is you're attracting that energy from all areas because you're sending out that high vibrational signal to to everyone around you and it's like no you don't have to be in high vibes all the time but your core frequency is because you embrace all parts of the journey to actually add a higher frequency to your aura you have to dip into the low frequencies because that is like the fuel to transmute that energy into a higher vibration you know if you're gonna bake a cake you need flour so if you're gonna bake a cake of beautiful life you're gonna need the gritty bits you're gonna need everything else and those are the low vibrations and what you've been doing is you've been doing that you've been embracing that and it's been adding such a magnetic quality about you because you are standing in your worth what you know you deserve it's like yeah you get loads of opportunities or what whatever you know you're not taking all of them you're picking what you want you're picking from what you know that you deserve and this can be friends this can be people this can be opportunities this can be uh favors for people like you're picking and you're act acting from a place of self-empowerment self-love to protect your own energy um and yeah that energy is going to ripple out in so many ways because again ace of cups bottom deck energy new friendships new connections new romantic interests and new levels of self-love and gratitude that you are just going to feel so beautifully at peace um like i said not all the time life's not always about the highs but because of the work that you've been doing recently you're coming back on top of this wheel with the new knowledge that you've gained from being at the bottom and the knowledge you gained from being at the bottom was gaining this empress energy of standing in your power of really putting yourself first because you got to a point where you had no choice because maybe you were so drained or you got sick of treated being treated certain ways or you know you really just something happened where you were like do you know what I'm not taking any of this anymore. I'm not taking any of this shit. 
and this is what's made you elevate and it's elevating your energy as a whole that's why you're attracting abundance in all areas and you know what when one cup is poured and filled that's going to overflow into all the other areas when you start pouring into yourself when you start pouring and you already have when you start pouring into one area that you enjoy so a hobby a passion a goal a mindset uh, a lifestyle a life change a way of living a habit that habit that thing is going to ripple down into all of these other empty cups that felt yeah that felt empty before and you guys are literally leveling up never forget that you guys are literally the most powerful things in your world you create your reality and you're the main character of your reality and you are literally attracting pure blessings i mean ace of cups ten of cups empress that is abundance in all areas i if i was to pick cards if i was to go through the deck and and pick a reading for myself and say i want these cards it would be these ace of cups new beautiful energy ten of cups long lasting internal uh fulfillment and proudness for what you've created it's a long lasting energy and then the empress you protecting all of that and all of what you have grown in in your internal world and internal peace and not letting anybody in to, that's going to knock that down for you that's the energy i love you all so much and i'll speak to you again very soon Mwah.